I'll do the bottom part after diluting. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome if you're new. I'm Ufida and I'd like it if you click down below to subscribe to my channel and a very special welcome to my new subscribers. I've been MIA for like a while and yeah, I'm back now, hopefully. So today I'm coming to you uh, with a soft clam with all affordable products. Affordable is relative, you know, so in my opinion, affordable products. Um, these products are easily accessible. You can easily find them because I got them in Ghana here, most of them. This is also beginner friendly. I'm going to take this step by step. If you want to see how I'm going to do that, carry on watching. And don't forget to subscribe. I think I already said that. And like this video as well. So I'll see you guys. Let's do you guys hear some noise in the background. There's some work going on at home. So kindly ignore that. I'm going to go in with the ColourPop All Star Matte and Blur Primer. This is what it looks like. I'm gonna go straight into some ColourPop No Filter Setting Powder. And it kind of looks like the Benai Banana Powder. That's what it looks like. So I'm gonna set my entire face with this. So I'm going to go into my eyebrows. I'm going to do my eyes first, I think. Yeah. So I'm um, just going to be using the Avita Joseph um, Espec Brow Liner. I love this stuff. It's like really matte and it's like super soft. So I'm um, just going to do my brows real quick. So I'm going to speed this up. I have like an updated brow routine on Instagram if you want to check that out. Kindly go and check on my Instagram and you're going to see that who is texting me. Um, I'm going to go in with the Midnight Draw in number 4. The same Evita Joseph brush. Uh, nope. The same Evita Joseph <laughs> brow liner. Expert brow liner. I really love the texture of this uh, product. So, I'm just going to fill out my brows with that. You guys know that I love my brows really thick. <laughs> like thick. So, I'm just going to fill that in. Okay, please bear with me. I look a little crazy, but we're going to fix the deal soon. So, um, I'm covering up my brows. I like to do the bottom part before I do the rest of my face. Um, so I'm just going to go in with some concealer. I'm going to go in with the um, LA Pro concealer. I'm just going to bring down the concealer down my eyes, my lids, because they're like super dark. So I'm going to go into my Morphe 35, 39A palette. I really love this palette. I don't know, this is not exactly a drugstore, but it's on the affordable side. So I'm gonna be going into brown and neutral shades because this is gonna be like a soft glam. So I'm just gonna go into a really light transition color. I'm gonna go in with this color right here. I'm gonna go um, into circular motions and like blend it out. Now I'm gonna go into a lighter color. That will be this color right here. I'm just gonna use that to kind of uh, lighten the the harsh lines. I've lost my vocabulary. I'm just going to buff that to kind of take away the harsh lines. I'm going to go into a smaller brush and go into a darker brown color. I'm going to go into this 
from right here. I'm gonna go back into my Deluxe Blending Brush. Is that what it's called? Deluxe Blender, and I'm just gonna buff that out. Okay, now we have a really nice gradient going on. So I'm gonna carve out uh, my, what you call it? my eyelid with some concealer I'm gonna go in with the LA Pro concealer so if you're trying to get like a cut crease when you put the concealer on the lower part of your eye you want to look up like so like you're rolling your eyes basically and it's gonna show you where to cut this is not like tip but this makes it easier for me and I'm cutting my crease with the precision concealer brush from Evita Joseph super soft but uh, kind of works I like a more stiff brush but this works too you just have to saturate it in concealer so becomes a little easier to control so this is what I have here right now my cut crease so I'm gonna let that dry let it dry down a bit I'm gonna set it with some powder so afterwards I'm gonna go in with like a gold color um, so I'm gonna go in with the BH Cosmetics uh, Kylie Bible eyeshadow palette I'm gonna go in with this shade right here put that all over my lid so you can go in with any um, gold eyeshadow so it's basically a uh, brown neutrals and gold kind of goes with everybody's skin tone so I'm just gonna darken my outer V with some black from the same 39A um, Morphe palette blending brush and just buff that out so this is what it's gonna end up looking like when you do that and I'm gonna do this eye off camera and I'm gonna be right back to continue okay so I have finished the other eye off camera so what I did to make the eyes a little different is that when you put the black on the outer V it kind of looks a little harsh so I put like a dark brown in between to kind of create like a gradient and also to uh, blend out the harshness of the black I hope this is like understandable for me. Um, yeah so I'm gonna create a wing and put on my lashes and I'm gonna be right back go in with my girls um, eyelashes this is slash beauty and I'm gonna go in with the style sizzler I think yeah so I'm gonna put that all over that's it all over I'm gonna put that on my you know how to do that it takes me a while you guys sometimes it's like and I can't find my tweezers so it's gonna take me extra long so I'm gonna do that off camera I'm gonna come back and we're gonna continue with the skin oh my god starving this is my favorite snack it's very unhealthy and uh, I'm hungry so I'm gonna basically go into my face now I'm done with my eyes I'll do the bottom part after I'm done eating Okay, so um, I already primed my face earlier and I put some um, translucent powder on my face. So I'm gonna go into foundation. I'm gonna go in with the Fit Me Matte Poreless. 
again, relatively affordable. So to get a flawless base, I'm going to go in with my whoops, not so damp anymore, my a damp uh, sponge. I'm just going to go over my face with that to kind of take off the excess product. I'm gonna conceal and um, contour and highlight with the LA Pro Concealer. I'm gonna use three shades. That's uh, Warm Honey, Fawn, and Espresso. So I'm gonna just highlight with Warm Honey. like a super big forehead so I'm not gonna try to highlight that I'm gonna go in with warm honey so I'm gonna contour uh, with the espresso this is like, I don't know if it's going to be dark enough because I like my contour really sharp. Okay, it's okay. My biggest pet peeve is getting makeup onto my scarves and hijabs. Like, so I always try to be really careful. What was that? I'm gonna blend out my nose contour real quick. I'm gonna do that into my eyebrows. I'm just gonna go over it with the beauty blender to take out any harsh lines go over my entire face now I'm gonna set my face with the same setting powder I've been using all along to get it out is like a hustle to my skin I also like to go over my brows with some of the powder because guys my brows are like super oily just gonna set the rest of my face Oopsie. set my contour I'm gonna go in with the Queen collection the covergirl bronzer and the shade ebony I'm gonna set the rest of my face with the LA girl pro face powder I'm gonna go in with my Avita Joseph X Annette B uh, powder brush I'm just going to go in with some blush. This is the 3D Blush Contour from LA Colors. I'm going to go in with the Real Techniques Blush Brush. Love how this kind of ties the look together. So I'm just going to set my face before I go in and... No, I'm going to do the rest of my eyes. Yep. 
So I'm gonna go in with all the colors I used in my crease on my bottom lash line and I'm gonna use some black eyeliner. Now I'm gonna highlight with the Maybelline Master Chrome Metallic Highlighter. I'm gonna go in with my Evita Joseph brush, highlighter, classic highlighter brush. I'm gonna go in with the NYX uh, lip liner in the shade brown. I'm gonna go in with the Evita Joseph lip gloss in the shade Utility. I'm gonna put that at the center of my lip. Really love how this looks. So I'm gonna go in with the Fenty Gloss Balm in Fenty Glow. Just gonna put that all over my lip. I'm gonna go over my lower lash line with some mascara from Colourpop. Alright guys, so this is the finished look and I hope you learned something from it. So I'm gonna be uploading. Kindly subscribe and also like this video and share with your friends and feel free to comment down below what you'd like to see next. So I will see you guys in my next video. Thank you so much for watching. Bye guys.